this y'all squash. You can get bigger than that. Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm here in the garden trying to plant and harvest. We're planting for the fall and harvesting for right now. So I'm currently getting some Thomas Lectin peas that I started down in the ground. I will be adding some more. One of the things that really, really did well this year were our green bean plants and they are still thriving, still harvesting them. I'm going to actually get another 10 plants down because my crew love green beans. My mom and dad, my son, my husband and I, everybody, we all eat green beans. We try to eat green beans either for Thanksgiving or Christmas, one of the holidays. So we make sure we have plenty of that, not only canned, but in the freezer. So we're definitely on the roll of, um, getting enough of those plants in the ground. I see it. Woohoo! Okay. How do I tie it? Alright, we just want the edge. Okay, go around the pole. There we go. And then we're going to tie. So here in this planter, we're going to plant some carrot seeds. I have from high mowing the yaya carrot and I have a little bit of these from the Dollar Tree. It's a heirloom variety called recorded. So chentine. So we're gonna try to get these in here with the basil. I'm not quite sure if these are great planting companions, but this is the space we have. Grocery store is gonna be loaded with food, but don't nobody know how to cook it. Mm. Alright, so we took the cushion off because he fell off. <laughs> and we got a couple of tomatoes, cucumbers, a nice bunch of green beans, and then our carrot. He broke, but I'm so proud of him. Oh, look at all that basil going into pesto and freezing for the winter. This is the first farmer's market run of September 2024. Let's check out what we have. So I picked up four cucumbers, which I'm gonna add to the ones from our garden. And I'll be making some kind of pickled cucumber. I grabbed six apples, that's from munching on this week. Four tomatoes, which I'll add to a pile that we got off our vines. Six ears of corn, that's for a side dish this week. One lone bell pepper hanging out back here. And another big bag full of yellow peaches. You guys, there was barely any peaches left. That's about it. I doubt if they'll have any more. They said the trees are done, finished for the year. So some of the things that we're gonna get done is one, I'm going to chop up the peaches get them frozen and then some of them will turn into about two jars of peach pie mix or ready to make peach pies. We are getting a few things going this week in the kitchen. I am about to roast up tomatoes, garlic, onions, and jalapeno, a little bit of bell pepper for some salsa. This is an easy way that we have made salsa over the years. And I'll bring you along to show you exactly how we do it. Very simple.
So I got all the tomatoes out and put it in the little blender. And I'm going to go ahead and give them a quick pulse. And that way it looks sort of like this. And we'll go ahead and bring it up to a boil before we get it canned. I'm going to be adding more chunky veg, which is bell pepper, red onion, garlic. And right before I put in jars, I'll be stirring in cilantro. So I'm going to get this over here to the pot. And this is how it turned out. My family will eat this like uh, taco sauce and dip for chips. Uh. <laughs> mm. All right, the last thing we're going to can up this week is a relish. This is a family favorite, and I got the recipe from my grandmother that is a pickling brine in the large pot. And I'm scooping in a ton of cucumbers from our garden and a few from the farmer's market this week. Right in. They have set an ice bath for about eight or nine hours overnight. And then I'm going to add in the veg. That is onions and bell pepper. If you have spicy peppers, which we had two from our garden, you can slice those up and put them in also. If your family doesn't like heat but like the flavor, feel free to go ahead and add um, just the outside part and scrape out the seeds. We're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes, just enough to wilt the cucumbers. So this brine is not going to go to waste. I'm going to can it out, can it up and strain out the last bits of onion and pickle seeds. And we'll use this brine to marinate some meat in for roasts and stews this fall. Alright, let's get it all into the canner. Alright guys, that's it. I got these jars. <laughs> They're hot. <laughs> Thinking <laughs> right out of the canner and I'm gonna let them cool and then get them labeled distribute these to family a couple go on my shelf and then on to the next week of canning it is fall y'all so you know that means we will be canning a lot so if you are thinking of ways to make sure that your meals are tasty they're different try pickling these um, 
This is often called chow chow if you add uh, carrots to it, I believe. But uh, our family just calls it relish. And it's good on brats and hot dogs, pork chops, um, a scoop on the side of meatloaf, you name it. Anything that gives you a sweet little salty tang along with your meal. So I hope you guys are being safe out there and canning as much as you possibly can. If you have any questions, please put them below. Like, subscribe, and return next week. Take care, guys. Goodbye.